The bomb that exploded in Kano on Tuesday last week is still causing ripples. This time, the police have finally confirmed that what the eyewitnesses saw was the true position of things. Because govern, uh, Kano state government officials has been claiming that it was a gas cylinder explosion. Even the police joined them. But now, after proper investigation, the truth is finally out. And we will reveal that truth to you in this video. But we ask you before then, try to subscribe, click on the notification bell, so that our video uploads will come directly to you. Let's tell you the latest development about this bomb blast in Kano that killed many people in Sabongeri, which is an area where foreigners or people that are outside of the state or visitors or people from other tribes that usually live in most of the states in the north. So Kano State Police Command has confirmed that last Tuesday's explosion that rocked Kano was from improvised explosive device, IED, that is the name we use for these bombs, and not gas cylinder, as earlier claimed. Even two suspects have also been arrested in connection with this incident that happened. This, followed, uh, de this development followed an outcome of investigation by the Explosive Ordnance Disposal, Chemical, Biological, Radiological and Nuclear Defense and Operation Puff Ada. Technical investigation conducted by the Command's Explosive Ordnance Disposal Unit has revealed that the explosion is suspected to have occurred as a result of mixed chemical, that is bomb, and then a gas reaction to that effect by inducing heat or by fire or a spark or increase in pressure resulting in combustion, shock waves creating an explosive which can have shattering effects. These are just terminologies, but the simple thing is that is chemicals put together and led to explode due to a spark of fire or remote control device. Meanwhile, arrests have been made linking one of the collapsed shops with dealings in sales of illicit, toxic chemical substances and combustible materials suspected to be used for making improvised explosive devices. There was evidence that a purchase was made from this particular shop that sells these chemicals that are used in making bombs and they have a receipt to that effect, and the police is also still investigating. But there's also indication the DSS has arrested two Boko Haram members in connection to the bomb explosion in Kano. So everything is tying together now. Two people have been arrested immediately. You know, the DSS, sometimes they have all this information, and how they could quickly arrest these two people is something to ponder about. Eons Intelligence reported that the DSS recovered some explosive items from the arrested Boko Haram members. According to the report, four AK-47 rifles, two pistols, suicide vests, and several improvised explosive materials, i.e. these, were recovered from the suspects. The Eons tweet, they tweeted that the cano, about the cannon bomb blast says reports indicate that following intelligence operations, DSS have arrested two Boko Haram terrorists over the Colonel Bomb blast incident. Items recovered at the AK-47, the pistols, the suicide vest, and the rest of uh, the things. So the latest thing is very coincidental because the governor of Kaduna State, El Rufai, tweeted uh, also I think two days after the explosion, she, he said that Boko Haram and this swap has taken over two local government areas in Kaduna State. Which means that even the government now know that there is danger. These people are in town. They are in Kaduna, they are in Kano, and they are planning only evil. 
So in advisory, they said that there has increased Boko Haram in swap and answer answer rule activities in Northwest in recent times, and suggest a shift of focus of the group to the region. So public infrastructures like airports, rail lines, roads, and schools have been targeted. Active situational awareness is expedient. Report all unusual activities. This one is a security memo report, and that's the language they're speaking. So the basic truth here is that these Boko Haram terrorists are coming nearer and nearer down to the North Central. They are in Kaduna now. It's confirmed by Erufai himself, the governor of the state. And in Kano, they have bombed a school last week. And this is not going to stop. I believe, unless the security agencies stop them. So people should take care of where they go, how they go. They should be more observant and watchful of the environment because these um, terrorists, some of them have left the Zambiza forest. They are coming down gradually in Kaduna. They have taken over a lot of places as bandits. Now they are branching off to do what they have been doing in the northeast, which is exploding bombs where there are many people in markets, I mean, where there's a huge gathering of people to cause the maximum damage. So that is what they are now trying to do. And I was wondering why was the government of Kano hell bent on saying it's not bomb, it was not bomb, it's a gas explosion and the rest of it. One of the officials was interviewed on... Um, Arise television, and he was so busy fighting so hard to claim that this thing was not a bomb explosion. At the point, he said, even if, we, for example, if he agrees that is a bomb, what can anybody do that God has to take control? You know, we in Nigeria, we always give everything to God. God has done all the work. That's why there's police, there's a DSS, there's army. Their security, their government, they only have to do the job. But they don't do the job. They will always tell you, it's God. God do this. God did that. God cannot come down and stop a suicide bomber from exploding a bomb. God cannot come down and arrest Boko Haram suspects like the DSS have just done. So we have to accept responsibility. A government should not conceal the cause of this explosion and say, even if it's bomb, what can it tell the people so that people will know and everybody will be prepared and be informed and be more careful and watchful to see what is happening. So the bottom line is that it was a suicide bomber that did this damage in Kano and everybody has to watch out and this is totally condemnable. Thank you for coming to listen. Remember to subscribe and click on the notification bell to get our next videos. God bless.